Have you ever wondered what a Saturday was like for a Gen X kid growing up? Well, it looks something like this. You wake up really early so you can get your chores done. Sit down and watch a few cartoons. Afterwards, you'll throw your play clothes on, grab a Pop-Tart or a handful of sugary cereal. You'll head outside to play with your friends. See nothing good is happening inside the house. Everything you want to do is out there. You have a plan to meet your friends at the park or in the woods, or maybe at somebody's treehouse. So we didn't have any cell phones or text messages, so that's how we did it. And when you meet up with your friends, they're all riding their bikes, and they look like a miniature version of a motorcycle guy. Off to do dangerous things in dangerous places. You'll roam the streets for hours, and travel blocks, if not miles, away from home. You'll cross several major streets, or maybe a major highway, and you'll play dodging with the cars like a real-life game of rock. Stop by the 7-Eleven, grab some candy, Slurpees, and Topps baseball cards, because we need the bubble gum for some macgyver shit that we're going to do later. You'll learn to climb some trees, or maybe wade in a creek, skip some rocks, or play on the railroad tracks, and then swing by a random house so we can get a drink from the garden hose, because we don't have any water bottles. But we do have to make sure we're home before the street lights come on, but not before we stop to catch some lightning bugs and play a little ghost in the graveyard. We get home in time to wash our hands, sit down with our TV dinner on our TV tray in front of the TV, until it's time to put ourselves to bed. Our bed is a fort that we made out of our pillows and blankets, and we'll drift off to sleep with a flashlight, reading a book about adventures we can only dream about. Because we didn't have any YouTube or TikTok to paint the picture for us, and we had to use our imagination. That shit all over again tomorrow.